What the fuck? <laughs> I don't even, like, I don't even know. That was one of the weirdest experiences of my life. I do a lot of videos that are commentary based. I do a lot of fire filth. I do a lot of Instagram comedians. So I thought I would switch it up for you guys today. We're gonna do a little bit of a, st a story video, but not like a story time, like Tana, Tana Mojo thing. For this story, I actually have hard evidence that supports the story I'm about to tell you because it's ridiculous. Some of you may know that in 2016, I did a road trip across the country with my best friend Tucker. We, we basically just did a little big old freaking loop around the country. And it was awesome. It was a really, really amazing experience and I'm very lucky to have experienced it. However, when you drive through the middle of the country, you find all sorts of freaks. Freaks, dude. Fucking weirdos. I-90 is this huge interstate highway that we were using to get through Minnesota and South Dakota in order to get to Mount Rushmore. So you're pretty much traveling on that road for like 700 miles. And we were doing this in one day. It's easy to get bored. There was a billboard pretty much every mile for 500 miles advertising whatever the fuck was going on in Wall, South Dakota. There was like three or four billboards that were advertising an attraction in Mitchell, South Dakota the Corn Palace, the world's only corn palace in Mitchell, South Dakota. They're basically advertising this like it's the eighth wonder of the world or something. It's like the one thing that you're absolutely not surprised exists in South Dakota. After about the third time seeing this billboard, I'm driving and I turn to Tucker and I'm like, huh? There's apparently a corn palace where is it? <laughs> We're trying to find the Corn Palace. It is actually pretty busy around here. Yeah, well, it's, it's an indoor all just water gas park. stations and motels and fast food. But where's the Corn Palace? We're... I was told there'd be corn and palace. Corn Palace, left lane, you got it. Oh yeah. Corn Palace. Corn Palace. This billboard likes to add the little slogan outside expectations. But when you arrive, it's pretty much exactly what you expected it to be. It's a it's a building that's covered in corn husk. What we did not expect was what would come next, and that the weirdest part of this experience had nothing to do with the Corn Palace at all. We'll get to the Corn Palace later, but really the meat of this story comes from what's right next to it. That's Corn Palace, all right. Oh man, are you excited? Yeah, we think we're here. Hey, there's a general store. I... We should go in that general store and see if there's a pin. This is walk through ancient Bible world. What in the fuck? To souvenir t-shirts though. There seems to be something good over there <laughs> that we want to check out. There's some guy playing a live performance for like an audience of 10, but the police still felt the need to like rope off the street for this event. Bible Tucker, do you have any idea what's going on right now? No. There's a bunch of religious corn loving people. <laughs> Listening to some country singer in the middle of the street. The local celebrity came to town and he's doing a performance and like 12 people show up. The Mitchell police have to shut down the street to avoid a mob. We see the Corn Palace on the left. There it is in all its glory. To our right, we see this other building. It's like a trading post. Let's go in this store. Tucker and I walk in. It's empty in this place. There's like one lady behind the counter and she's like, Oh, hello. And we're like, okay, whatever. And then we see this guy, crazy eyes, and he just appears out of nowhere. And in order to properly explain this, I have to just give you our reaction right after this happened. And then this guy, we'll just call him crazy eyes. He just starts walking right towards us. He just walks up, that. his hand goes out, and I shake it. It's like a weird, like, kind of. Like, he didn't say hi, he didn't say his name, he just went for the shake. This trading post is just full of the most random crap. Basically, the purpose of going into this trading post was one thing. Throughout this entire trip, my main goal was to collect pins of each place that we went to of notable places. So what I wanted to do was I wanted to find a pin that would be appropriate for us visiting the Corn Palace and Mitchell, South Dakota, I guess. The closest thing that I found to a pin, I guess, was this random Costa Rica pin. It turns out that they had a card limit. That pin was only $2 and I needed to reach the $5 limit. I was basically going around the store looking for something that would just get me a little bit over the $5 limit and then we'd be good and we'd be on our way. So we were just kind of milling throughout the store shopping. Things started to get weirder when we did this. The reason why we were so weirded out by this guy was just because of his strange level of enthusiasm in like all the wrong ways. Tucker went into a certain area and this is his experience that he had. I, I walked into this other dark corner of the shop thing and he's like, he comes up behind me, I didn't know it, and he's like, oh, turn on the lights. And I was like, okay, I turn on the lights, and he's like, 
This is the bargain room. We're gonna bargain. Uh, okay, sure. The room with a bunch of, like, the most miscellaneous, like, items ever. There's, like, expired printer ink, kitchen knives, like, paper towels, and it's all stuff from, like, 1990 that no one has ever bought. They had a kid's playground sort of situation, but what made it weird was the sign that they had out front. And the sign literally said, warning, children will play in this area. Ooh. Is there like a trap door in there to like a dungeon? And then all of a sudden I lose Tucker, as in Tucker disappears. I look into the alcoves, I look around. Eventually I just, I call his name out. I'm like, Tucker, hello, where, where'd you go? And then Crazy Eye's like, oh, he's probably in the back. The back. Okay, what the fuck? I walk for a little bit and then all of a sudden I'm walking on gravel. And I'm like, that's weird. And I look around, I see the weirdest thing I've ever seen. I had finally figured out what the Bible walkthrough meant in this moment. Essentially what they had done is that they had taken this giant open room, they had taken repurposed mannequins, costumes, props, and a shit ton of other stuff to make a walkthrough depiction of the story of the Bible. It was, yeah, it's like a Bible theme park that I was just like, I started, I walked in this dark room and there's like all these like Jesus statues and like, I, all this religious stuff that I have nothing, no idea about is in a dark room in the back of this thrift shop. You've got like these mannequins that are dressed up to look like disciples. There's a camel. At one point, there's just a random sarcophagus. So I walk up to Tucker and I'm like, dude, what the frick is going on? And he turns to me and he's like, we gotta get out of here, man. Like he's seen something. Like this room that he was in changed him. We don't know what's going on. I'm scared. We decided it was time to leave Mitchell, South Dakota and be on our way. So I go to pay for my stuff there and everything is so old fashioned in this place, but then they just happen to have an iPad with a square swipe card thing. So I swipe and then I try to take my car from him and he holds it back and he says to me, do you want to be like me or like God? And at this point, I'm just like, I don't know what you're talking about, dude. You have to sign for your card. How was I supposed to know that, gut weirdo? He starts chatting us up as we're trying to leave. Oh, where are you guys from? We're like, oh, we're from Massachusetts. What are you doing all the way out here? We're like, oh, we're on a road trip. Oh, where are you parked? It's like, where are you parked? And I'm like, where? he's like, where, where's your that, truck? And I was, and I was like, Ted, do not. Yeah, he was like, like, he was like, where's your truck? And I was like, I am parked. <laughs> like, uh, uh, it's parked. <laughs> And he's like, uh, where are you headed to? And we're headed to Wall, South Dakota. And he says, oh, that's 200 miles away. You'll never make it in time. He offered Ted, so he was like, oh, so where are you going? We're like, oh, we're headed to a campsite at Walls, which is like 200 miles from here. He's like, oh, I have free room. And it's like, there's no way in hell we're staying in this guy's weird little back room. I saw inside the room, and it's like just a mattress on a floor in this dark little room in the corner of their shop. You can tell how, how visibly weirded out we were just by this initial reaction, the moment that we got back on the highway from Mitchell, South Dakota. What the fuck? <laughs> uh, okay, so we just got out of the Corn Palace in the religious thrift shop. I don't even, like, I don't even know. That was one of the weirdest experiences of my life. So that's pretty much the weirdest experience that we had with another human being in another establishment ever. But what about the Corn Palace, Ted? I'll tell you about the Corn Palace. It's the most multi-purpose building I've ever seen. We get in there and it's, it's, a, it's a stadium with bleachers with a basketball court at the bottom, but then there's a shopping center at the bottom. It's not just a normal shopping center because everything is related to corn. What's going on in town today? In the world? We're in a stadium inside the Corn Palace, but instead of basketball, there's a shopping center. They had corn toy cars, corn freaking cobs, they had corn necklaces, they had corn jewelry, they had a bunch of souvenir related items related to the Corn Palace. Right here is the pin from the Corn Palace. Here's the Costa Rica pin with a monkey on it. So these are, the, these are the two pins that I got on that location and we kept on going on the road. So yeah, that's the story of the Corn Palace. Let me know if you guys enjoyed this type of video. I don't know, I don't know how many stories I have to tell, but 
that's one. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. And if you ever get the idea to uh, make a building and cover it with corn husks, it's already been taken. So scratch that off the list, idiot. There's a bunch of religious corn loving people. <laughs> Listening to some country singer in the middle of the street.